We're going to print from medium format black and white negatives that were photographed with a Hasselblad for the current exhibition that's hanging at the museum, the Image and Cunningham show. Her later work was shot with a Roly twin lens, which is also a medium format. First, you place the negative in the negative carrier, and then we're going to clean the negative. So I do that under the lens. You're going to turn the enlarger light on. And this is just a, a rocket that shoots air onto your negative. Insert the negative into the negative stage of the enlarger. You want to establish the composition, so you do that by adjusting the height of the enlarger until the image falls inside the easel. Once that's roughly where you want it, you're going to get the image in focus. So this is a grain focuser. The grain focuser focuses on the silver halides and the negatives so that you know the image is truly sharp. And then you set your aperture and your filter. And then we're going to turn the enlarger off and make a test strip. The test strip's going to help us determine the right exposure time for the image. All right, five second intervals. And this is a good image for a, a test strip. You're looking for the right density in the highlights, and then your shadows need to contain a true black, and that's the contrast filter. So at this point, we're going to develop the strip for two minutes. The developer develops the latent image, and you'll see the image pop up gradually in the tray. This is the stop bath, and the stop bath stops the action of the developer so that the print's no longer developing. And then the fixer sloughs off any of the undeveloped silver halides so that the image is light safe. And you can wash it uh, in the fixer and assess the image. So we are going to look for highlight detail with true blacks in the shadows. So the first thing you're assessing is the time, and 10 seconds is too light, 15 is too dark. So we are going to make a print at 12 seconds. Turn the light out. This is fiber-based paper. It's museum quality paper, lasts longer. The emulsion is embedded into the pulp of the paper with fiber paper versus resin coated paper where it's more on the surface. It's a little thicker. So you want to agitate each tray for the entire time that the print is in the tray so that it's evenly developed. And you can do that just by rocking from a corner as long as the chemical is moving over the surface of the print. So this is in the fixer for three minutes until it's fully fixed. And then this is the holding bath. The print just stays there until you're ready to archivally wash it. So this is just water. And then this is a uh, fix remover. So they'll go in the fix remover face to face and back to back for three minutes. So then we'll carry it. Next door. So the archival washer is in the other lab. And I can see, you see, I don't know if you see it, but there's a dust spot on that. That'll need to be spotted out later. But it's an easy fix.